Hi guys, it's Mary Mary. If you think I look just wonderful, I'm um, wearing an ink, I think, INC. It's a Macy's brand blazer because I just don't want to jump into my little white shirt, black pants uniform for work today just yet. And then this afternoon, I have an interview, after work actually, this evening, I have an interview with the kind of sister partner relationship with the company I work for to sell a wireless service. So that might be interesting. We'll see. It's at a different big box store a little farther away from my house. So we'll see how that goes. And then um, I've been having such a hard time putting up a video. So I'm going to stick to a 10 minute rule. And Susie Clancy made me laugh, and that's why I know I'm jumping on, and this is going to make it. She was just, you could tell she felt bad that she's not always 100% chipper and all that, and no one is. And I have to tell you, I laughed my butt off when I got home today. I left a message. That's what we do, Peggy and I. We'll leave messages for Kelly now on her cell phone so that she's, you know, she's just so nauseous with all that going on with the kidney. We just leave messages. And I left a message today and she picked up the phone. I was so in such a bad mood when I left my house Monday. And perhaps I'll talk. My mom had her hip replaced like 15 years ago and she's the wise Alec, who had a sign, it's this hip, and then an arrow, okay? And she told him, you won't do bone, you'll do cement, you'll cement the hip in. So now, she's in, you know, severe pain. I even took the forms for the x-rays and gave them to the nurse and said, my mom's elderly, she's in pain, and they're like jerking around with it. And so, um, I just felt really bad because my mom's like, can you drive me to get the x-ray? I'm kind of nauseous. She's in so much pain. She was nauseous. So Monday, bad mood, right? <sighs> and, um, she's fine though, you guys. She has arthritis, which kind of stinks, but you know, it's, it beats the alternatives. So anyways, I laugh. I have to tell you this, Miss Clancy in particular, and everyone who... And Stacy, I know you think it's hilarious when I say, do you guys think I, do you think I was always this great? No. So, in a bad mood, things went on with the neighbors, which included the old bat running over and saying something, and then saying, what was that noise? She said, what was that noise? I can't live like this. I can't have their scrutiny again. And what was the noise was my garage door closing. Meanwhile, her son is... I'm effing it across the street all the time. And, and in fact, in that day, I can't live like that. So it seemed like a good idea to me. I'm looking at their house thinking that tree's dead. It's going to fall on my house. I had to hear years and years about how my trees were unhealthy and I had them removed only to find out they were fine. That was not a cheap thing to do, to remove three huge trees. Then... Um, here I am, I'm rambling again. I'm going through with this, though. The bottom line was, I'm thinking to myself, why am I dancing around a bunch of jamokes like that? It, most of his lawn is weed, which travels into mine. That's got to be illegal. Having a tree that's dead, that's a danger. So I'm thinking, you're messing with the wrong girl. I know you think that I'm, like, single and, like, some kind of... Um, I don't know what you think, but you're going to find out how wrong you are. And I was in such a bad mood. I took weed killer and I just killed all the weeds that were coming into my property. So you know how awful that looks. And then, um, oh, look at how cute my ponytail is. And then I took the rest, the remaining weed killer. This is grass killer and drew a line, the property line. So there's no mistaking so when I get home today from my mom's, this morning, the nurse who lives next door to me is like, hi, Mary Lynn, you're like really peppy. When she has a bad day, which is often because she, you know, what she deals with, life and death all the time, 
and she's like the head nurse or something. She has an MBA. So sometimes she can barely like talk and I understand what she goes through. But this time she was like all cheery, like, oh no, my neighbor's going to go. This is going to do it. <laughs> <laughs> so that's my story, Susie. Don't ever feel bad if you get kind of witchy. I mean, you have no idea. So, let's do this. It's going to be a whole mixture of things. I really enjoy, I won this in a giveaway from Pebbles. Flintstone, be a bombshell. I really like this. This nail polish, by the way, is the teenager, one of my best friend's child. We are... See, this is the Be A Bombshell, and I have no foundation on. Love playing around with this. So, we're playing also around with this black top coat that Carolyn from Miss Flip Flop and Pearls was talking about. And so I had to use the Teenager's Nail Polish. I was over at uh, Peggy's house yesterday. Which is why I purchased this. Which, And when I say I purchased, no, it's my mom. So this is the Revlon Peel and Stick. These things, I'm at the last one, so I have to throw this out. They come with maybe like three on each side. It's like $7. And you file the calluses on your heels, which Peggy said that I have disgusting cracked heels to do something about it before she brings me. I was her guest at a Lazy River pool. Let's see what else we have here to talk about. Uh, my empties are kind of boring, so I'll whip through them at the nine minute mark. This, only Chris Ekfana could wear this. Hide your gray, quick root touch up pen from the dollar store. No, no, don't. This comes out red. It's not a brown, so don't buy it unless, you know, you have red hair. What else did I get? Oh, here's what we're trialing. This gel top coat on regular nail polish. Let's see how long it lasts. Uh, another little buy from, I love getting these from the dollar store. These Puma stones. Obviously, they're not doing the job, though, if your good friend tells you they're not doing the job. I had to get the Milani. And to tell you the truth, because I have very, very dry skin... This could be why I'm not over the moon about the Milani. The Giorgio Armani lasted through the water park. The Milani, with no font, with no primer though, did not. But it didn't do too bad. I mean, there were some remains of this Milani, and I purchased Bella Gray. Because I liked the uh, pop beauty that Pebbles Maria had given me when I won her giveaway. We'll see how much I like this once I use it, if you can use it wet. So, you know, we'll see. What else do I have to show you? I purloined this from my mother and I feel bad, but I'm sure I will be back shortly. I was like... Dr. The Grinch and Dr. Seuss, too. I took two of her Rosa Sharon's, dug them out, shoved them in the back of my car, and planted them strategically so that people could not look at me and drive me insane. This is La Crora. I remember, I always think of Lift From Within. This is an Aldi brand. Doesn't this look like Mac to you? So this is one of my mom's favorite lipsticks. And now I have it, and honestly, I didn't mean to. So we'll have to get that back to her. Let's just go through empties. Yeah, we have nine minutes. Let's see what we got. You know I always use this. That's Sensodyne. It works if you have sensitive teeth. All the Aussies, if you send a package to an Australian, send them Gold Bond Ultimate Healing with Aloe. Works good. You know most Australians live 10 miles away from a beach. This is Ivory Soap. Love it. This is the um, some of the products, Fancy Schmancy products Joy had given me. Don't send any more. I was just teasing you. I'm just throwing this out because it smells funny. I didn't use it. I have too many products. 
I'm throwing this out because I cracked it, this out because I cracked it and I don't want a mess. I use this up and that's my 10 minute mark. This is Juice Organics. It's not bad. I don't know if it's good because I'm really truly a clown. Not the best person to really get advice from. And then I'm running out of another, I love the smell of iced gingerbread. Totally use this and I thought I had a third one. Ole Henriksen Sugar Glow Face Scrub. Would never use this on your face though. That's just too abrasive. I hope you guys enjoyed.